Welcome to the Saturday Update. Nath Gardner with you. Well, after a two-year lull, influenza is back with a vengeance, with more than 65,000 cases recorded in Australia in May alone. That's more than double the infections in the same month in 2019. Dr Jonathan Anderson says limiting the spread of both influenza and COVID is crucial for the sake of the health system. Australia is one of the first countries in the world to have both a large surge in flu rates at the same time as we're still dealing with substantial numbers of people having COVID. The ski season is officially underway with all roads leading to the snow this weekend. In New South Wales, Perisher has opened early and Threadbo to start later, while in Victoria, operators at Mount Hotham are reporting the best early season snow in decades. Australia is finally out of the naughty corner when it comes to climate change, according to the Prime Minister. Anthony Albanese says the world has welcomed Labor's commitment to reduce carbon emissions by 43%. Defence Minister Richard Marles' first overseas trip in his new role sees him taking part in a key regional security meeting in Singapore with around 30 other countries. China and Russia are dominating the talks. A Tamil asylum seeker family has spent their first night back in Biluela in central Queensland, more than four years after they were placed in detention. And there's a breakthrough in the fight against heart attacks with a test to identify who is at an increased risk developed by Australian researchers. An electrical test can identify genetic mutations which are harmful to the heart. To sport, and it's brought to you by Ladbrokes Mates Mode, the better way to chat, share and bet together. T's and C's apply, and remember guys, gamble responsibly. Call 1800 858 858. Carlton has spoiled Essendon's 150th year celebrations with a 26-point win in the AFL Round 13 clash at the MCG. The Bombers began the evening with a presentation of its 16 grand final wins and past players getting involved in the pre-game address. But coach Ben Rutten admits his boys couldn't quite keep up with the Blues after the first term. Unfortunately, we're not able to quite get in the scoreboard to move and churn the way we'd like just yet. And that's often often the last thing to start to get moving for us. But there's certainly some areas of our game tonight I think we're continuing to to build on. The Cowboys were too good for the Dragons, 31-12 to to kick off round 14 of the NRL and Aussie F1 driver Daniel Ricciardo has come in 14th in practice two at the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. And for even more sports news, make sure you check out the sports update. You'll find it wherever you're listening to this show. To entertainment news now, Delta Goodrum is having another crack at breaking into the US market, supporting the Backstreet Boys tour. She's just finished her opening gig in Hollywood, sporting a tight black leather outfit, much like like Olivia Newton-Johns in Greece. Julie Cruz, the pop singer best known for the Twin Peaks theme, Falling, has died aged 65. She'd been suffering from systemic lupus since 2018. And just as season three of Amazon's superhero series, The Boys, kicked off, the show has been given the nod for a fourth season. And we'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update. 